What is a brain injury? Often when we talk about brain injury, we mean traumatic brain injury, or we mean that a person's had trauma or a major hit to the head. But you don't have to have had trauma to have an injury to the brain. Many things can cause injuries to the brain. Cerebral palsy is an injury to the immature brain. Sometimes being born very prematurely or not having enough oxygen at birth can lead to a brain injury or a cerebral palsy. A stroke can cause an injury to the brain. A stroke can be caused from not enough oxygen to the brain or a bleed in the brain. A concussion is a type of brain injury. It is traumatic but it is a type of brain injury. Not enough oxygen from carbon monoxide poisoning can cause an injury to the brain. A brain tumor leads to injury to the brain. Multiple sclerosis can cause an injury to the brain. Infection from meningitis or encephalitis is a type of brain injury. The symptoms of a brain injury depend on where in the brain it's located and on how mild or severe it is. The different symptoms of a brain injury can include difficulty walking or using your arms or hands, decreased balance or coordination, headaches, dizziness, confusion or memory impairments, difficulty concentrating, personality changes like moodiness or irritability, depression and anxiety, fatigue, poor sleep, sensitivity to lighter sound, trouble speaking, trouble swallowing, vision problems, seizures. Of course, not every person with a brain injury has all of these symptoms. With a mild brain injury, you might only have one symptom. Every brain injury is different and every person reacts differently to a brain injury. Brain injuries from totally different causes might have very similar symptoms. It depends on where in the brain the injury is located. For instance, a person with a stroke may have weakness on one side of their body. But you can also have weakness from one side of your body from cerebral palsy or from a traumatic brain injury. So the treatments for brain injury can be similar no matter what the cause. If you have weakness on one side of your body no matter what the cause, physical and occupational therapy can help you. If you have thinking problems from a brain injury no matter what the cause, cognitive therapy can help you. Often people with a mild brain injury can recover completely. If you have a more severe brain injury, you may have symptoms that persist. The brain does have plasticity or the ability to improve. In other Utah Neuro Rehabilitation YouTube videos, I talk about brain plasticity and how to use it to improve. Many resources are available to help people with brain injury no matter what the cause. We've started a website called brainstormforbraininjury.com to educate people about those resources.